what is the only responsibility we need to have as a seeker, um, as somebody who seeks to experience the ultimate. I welcome you with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. So in this video I want to share a click which, uh, which is kind of growing in me last few days, especially after Swamji released one of the video that he released recently on his channel, um, a video which was taken in like 2002 or something, so very very old footage, but uh, Swamiji shares pretty much the essence of his life and the essence of his mission in that video and uh, so I wanted to share what it was. So obviously I'm going to show you the clip of that video in a few moments along with another video where he also expands on the same uh, truth which, uh, which clicked with me very strongly. And Swamji said that when he came out of Samadhi and uh, realized his avataric mission, there's only few words which were verbalized in his inner space and these words were in Tamil and uh, he basically verbalized the words Ananda Mairingal, which means be blissful. And basically in the video Swamji shares, the only responsibility we have is to be blissful. Um, so the first question I had when I heard to be blissful is what is bliss actually? Um, and something which I started to realize is that bliss has nothing to do with the um, experience we have, uh, the jump we do between pleasures and pains. Um, bliss is not, is not a pleasure, it's not like happiness, joy, all these experiences as far as I'm concerned, I do not cognize them, uh, it's different. These are more like in the pleasure realm, you know, pleasurable experiences that we can have, um, excitement, joy, happiness, all these things are in that, uh, in that realm of pleasures. And the problem with pleasures is that pleasures and pains comes hand in hand. They are just two different um, opposites of the spectrum which we cognize when we are stuck in the duality, when we consider uh, separateness, when we feel separated from the universe. And uh, Swanji is talking about bliss, so I automatically felt, no, bliss is something higher than that. It has nothing to do with pleasures and pains. It is a space which is totally beyond. So uh, before I share the main click I got, let us have a quick look at uh, what Swamiji shares about bliss. Man or duty? I, am born. I don't know why I am born. Uh, uh, what uh. are my duties? Man, man has no duty. Duty is four letter word. <laughs> man has only one responsibility to live beautifully, to live happily, to live blissfully. No duty. Listen, all of us strongly believe some things as our fundamental right. That freedom should not be touched because I go through whatever I go through which I don't want in my life just for that one thing. So all of you look into what do you think as your fundamental right. A man who thinks I tolerate all this just for the sake of money. Who thinks money is his fundamental pleasure, fundamental right, naturally he will become rich. He will be working only towards wealth and he will become rich. But he will not be fulfilled. Please understand, whatever you think as your fundamental right, you equate that and your life. You are ready to bargain with your life to gain that. Sometime, yes from girlfriend, sometime 
yes from a business proposal sometime yes for pleasure whatever you equate as your fundamental right in your life you will get that no doubt but be very clear you will never be fulfilled by that because actually your fundamental right is to build the bliss chemistry in you anything other than that you will feel you have been cheated or you wasted your life on it there are so many things in your life which you don't like you do it just for the sake of what do you think as the fundamental pleasure of your life anything you think as your fundamental right for which you go through whatever you go through in your life whether it's money name and fame relationships pleasure you will get that but by that very thing which you equated your life to you will feel cheated by that no pleasure no money no power no girlfriend even if it's miss universe or miss cosmos or mr cosmos no one can equate your life understand your fundamental right is building your own bliss chemistry where you are independently able to fall into the joy and bliss just by your intention your will ability to fall into the bliss chemistry just by your will independent of anything else is your fundamental right every child should be taught this is your fundamental right so yes so that's pretty much um riswam ji recently shared that what he's sharing with us today what he shared with the world in 2002 in that video and what he's going to share with the world in 2050 is going to be the same thing this is the essence of my teachings be blissful and he says duty is a four letter word everything else is a four letter word so how i cognize it is bliss what i understood was bliss is the it's like the an expression i don't know if it's an expression but something like an expression which oozes out from the space of pure consciousness when you realize the space of parama shivoham within yourself automatically bliss starts to ooze out and that bliss will uh make you go into motion and pretty much everything you're going to do every action every decision you're going to make is going to be enriching uh people things around you it's always going to be uh in that enriching space why because you're blissful so that bliss is like it's kind of a it's like the evolution of ecstasy you know ecstasy is a it's like next level ecstasy kind of thing so and bliss does not take form one thing that i started to cognize is that we feel you know only when you smile and like this it means you know you're happy you're blissful but actually no bliss is beyond all that bliss is like a state which is um or a space which is always available in you even if at different points in times you decide to cherish various types of um thought currents of behaviors of actions bliss is always sitting as the f- the the foundation from which in which you are rooted recently swamji uh in this unclutching uh in unclutching spree that we're doing on a 24/7 worldwide 
um, that's that's what I realized that when you're unclutched, you get in tune, you fall back to your original nature, you get in, you 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 come back to the source of you, which is the consciousness, and out of this consciousness, bliss is uh, the experience, the the all pervading experience which happens in you, and uh, yeah, just quick sidetrack also. Uh, if anybody of you is interested to, um, to experience unclutching meditation, drop a comment below or get in touch with me on Facebook. My link is in the description below. Um, I would like to uh, perhaps help you and support you in your journey or your, uh, your desire to experience the space of unclutching. And uh, you basically can join at any time of the day that you want because like I said, it's a 24 hour uh, happening. Uh, worldwide so you're not bound by anything so just drop a comment below or uh, contact me on actually contacting me on Facebook might be better because it is more uh, of a private setting so uh, yes send me a message and I'll get back to you and um, I'll help you and I'll support you in that so that you can have your own experience of bliss of unclutching and uh, turn all these uh, cognitive cognitions and spiritual truth into an actual experience where you can relate to uh, on a different level. So, uh, yeah, so that's the description below. Again, uh, get in touch with me. Coming back to the topic of bliss, bliss is not bound by anything. Um, Swamiji said, whatever you want to manifest in your life, if you put life, time and energy into it, you will manifest it. But everything that you manifest in your life will leave you unfulfilled. Other than one thing, your capacity to manifest the chemistry of bliss in your body at will with a simple decision, not through a technique, not through a practice, maybe in order to get into the space where you can simply decide for bliss and bliss happens in you, maybe you need a technique, maybe you need a little bit amount of time for you to kind of, you know, grasp this space. But the more you, you get in touch with that space, the more you seek for that space, the more you kind of, you kind of realize and remember that, yeah, I can just, it's, it's actually always there in me and I can trigger it at will. So really the purpose of life is to figure out what is bliss and to figure out how to manifest bliss in our life at any point in time, whenever we want. If you don't want to experience, uh, if you want to experience something else, you can. But at any point in time, you should have the powerfulness and the freedom to just, no matter what situation you're in, trigger the bliss chemistry inside of you and start to experience that. So that's really our only responsibility. Our only responsibility is to seek what is bliss and seek what is the space from which I can trigger and manifest bliss, a bliss within me um, by a simple decision, with a simple will? So then again, it comes back, you know, to third eye because third eye is the seat of willpower, of will persistence. So it's all about, you know, awakening the third eye and getting into that space where you can simply manifest bliss at will. So, uh, that sums it up pretty much. Everything else is secondary. So we might be engaged in other things because for survival reasons or what are other things we get involved in life, but we should never forget that seeking bliss is the actual thing that we need to constantly meditate on, contemplate on in uh, throughout the day. When you do something else does not mean you have to completely f seeking what I realized seeking is that seeking does not has to be like only when you sit in silent and meditation you're seeking. No, when you keep the questioning alive in you, even when you do work, when you engage with people, when you relate to family members or, uh, or, or, or community members and all that, you, um, you will have more and more deeper insights and uh, deeper experiences of, uh, of what you seek. And obviously in this, in these videos that we just saw, Swamiji is very clear and he's giving us the insights that the only thing you should seek, if you really want to hit the jackpot, which means getting fulfilled, you should seek how to manifest the bliss chemistry in you at will. So that was the main thing I wanted to share with you in this video. Um, and uh, I'll share more about it 
also in other videos because there's another thing I want to share with you and uh, which which results in uh, it's kind of a cognitive shift which I've been having for a few days now and the result of that cognitive shift is I'm getting more and more able to manifest that bliss chemistry at will within uh, my system so that being said uh, thank you very much for watching inviting you to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified uh, like and drop a comment below especially if you're interested in that meditation that unclutching meditation experience Hinduism is all about not only giving you knowledge but giving you experience actually what Swamiji made me realize is that knowledge if it is not allowing you to access an experience, it is not a complete knowledge. It is more of an intellectual kind of information. But you need to go deeper than just intellectual information. You need to go towards using that information in order to manifest something you want in your life. And that is knowledge. That is jnana. So um, thank you very much again for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Nityananda. Rudraya Maha, Rudraya Kala, Rudraya Kalpanda, Rudraya Veera, Rudraya Rudra, Rudraya Kora, Rudraya Kora, Rudraya Martanda, Rudraya Anda, Rudraya Pramanda, Rudraya Chanda, Rudraya Prachanda, Rudraya Tanda, Rudraya Shura, Rudraya Veera, Rudraya Bhava, Rudraya Bhima, Rudraya Atala, Rudraya Vitala, Rudraya Sutala, Rudraya Mahatala, Rudraya Sadala, Rudraya Talatala, Rudraya Patala, Rudraya